Happy Tuesday and welcome to June, my friends. This is The Daily Fix. I'm Seth Macy and today we're talking about CDPR's profits crashing harder than Cyberpunk running on a PS4. The Crisis Trilogy is getting the remastered treatment this fall and a court ordering a ROM site to pay Nintendo $2 million in damages. We're halfway through 2021, so let's get into today's gaming news and try to act like the inexorable march through time doesn't bother us as we're delivered unwillingly into the maw of oblivion. Also, it's swimsuit season. <laughs> CD Projekt Red, the developer and publisher of Cyberpunk 2077, just released its quarterly financial results. And if you love schadenfreude, you're gonna love hearing about its 65% decline in net profits year over year. What caused this massive dive in CDPR's profits? Well, according to CDPR, they incurred a new expense they didn't have a year ago, which is spending money trying to fix all the problems with Cyberpunk 2077. CDPR's chief financial officer issued this futuristic statement. Lower than usual profitability is mainly due to continuing depreciation of Cyberpunk 2077 development expenditures, work on updating the game, and R&D activities related to future projects. These expenses are recognized as current period costs and are not subject to capitalization. Whoa! Slow down there, Corpo! My 2021 brain can't handle all this future funk! Profits may be down year over year, but CDPR is still making tons of money with, quote, record-breaking cash flows also announced during the earnings call. That's great news for everyone whose bonus structure is tied to profitability, which is everyone at the company. The Crisis series, perhaps most famous as the game used to test your NVIDIA 8800 Ultra in 2017, is getting the remastered treatment. That's right, the whole Crisis trilogy is getting spruced up for modern hardware, even if you still can't get the 30 series graphics card that you want. But don't let that get you down, because we've come far enough in the world of computer graphics that even a low-powered console like the Nintendo Switch can comfortably run this notorious series. Crytek announced the remastered Crisis Trilogy is coming to Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and the PC. And for my money, folks, to play it on anything less than a $10,000 liquid-cooled gaming rig is an affront to the artistic vision of its creators. But I'm the worst, so who even cares what I think? Crisis will run best on modern consoles, of course, so if you've scored yourself an Xbox Series X or a PS5, congratulations! If you haven't yet, you can still play the games when they release this fall on your Xbox One or PS4. And of course, there's that Switch release I'm sure everyone is looking forward to most of all. My suit's gone! My damn suit is gone! I've got no pain, no reason. Keep it together, kid! The original Crisis was already remastered last year and had all sorts of ray tracing and teraflop utilization, and now we can revisit all three games in one easy to swallow Switch cart. Note, do not attempt to swallow a Switch cart. Finally, bad news for ROM site users, but good news if you're a Nintendo. A court has ruled in Nintendo's favor in a lawsuit brought against ROM site ROM Universe. In the ruling, ROM Universe has been ordered to pay Nintendo $2.1 million in copyright infringement and federal trademark infringement damages. Nintendo first filed the suit in September 2019 and ROM Universe's site was taken down last year. A big part of the problem for ROM Universe was how it charged users for unlimited access to its ROM downloads. The owner of ROM Universe filed a declaration denying he uploaded any files knowingly and that in fact his quote, admin uploaded ROMs of Nintendo's copyrighted works, end quote. Insert Spider-Man pointing at Spider-Man meme image here, please. While $2 million is an awful lot of money for anyone to pay for hosting ROM files, the original damages sought by Nintendo came in at $15 million. The real lesson here is you definitely shouldn't try to make money from Nintendo's intellectual property, but the other real lesson here is people will pay money for illegal stuff even if they can get it for free. That was your Daily Fix for Tuesday, June 1st. I'm Seth Macy, and while you're cashing your checks and getting up, check out our list of the 10 best roguelikes of all time. After that, go ahead and download the IGN app on your favorite smart device, subscribe to The Daily Fix on Snapchat, and visit IGN.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the comments, probably.